Here we go, folks. Yes, I know. I'm starting another one. Stupid, isn't it? Really, considering I've got about <laughs> I don't know how many I've got started. But this one I've been itching to do for so long. I mean, look at it. It's gorge. So I'm hoping it isn't going to take too much time because there is quite a lot of colour blocking. So on that note, we can but hope. All right, so what have I got? I've got my, this is my drill tray where I'm putting all my, you know, dodgy ones in and etc. Right, and I've got it in my knockoff Elizabeth Ward, got from AliExpress for cheap. And yes, beautiful bright colours. So I'll put that to the side. And it's more length this way than it is that way. So it's going to be fun to do. Usually I start in the left hand side and work across. But I think for a change, I'm going to work downwards. Right, so let us see. It might work, it might not. And that means I can roll this side up. Which I think, you see that bit goes off. So maybe I'll just do, oh, I don't know folks. Which way do you think I should do it? Mm. Oh, blow it. Let's just do it this way. We shall just do it this way. Come on. No pussyfooting around. Let's just go for it. In for the kill. Just dive in and we'll cross whatever bridges we need to. Right. Now, this is before it got slurrated, slurrated edges. Right, I need to find my... um. Oh, where is it gone? Oh, oh there it is. On the cook seer. Mm. Um, let us let us use Have I enough of him? Got a bit of him. A bit of my sexy shazan and one. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, not much left of that one. That one you might possibly need that one. Oh dear. Right. Oh god. Right, this is one I'm going to use. I'm yours. Better be pointing out to Wang Yibo. And this one. And this one. Right. So, I think we'll have Shaozan at the top. I've got to be careful not to overstretch it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is fatal doing it with him. Oh my God. Imagine if I had a Wang Yibo tape as well, which I have, but it's not here. It's upstairs. Well, one of them is upstairs. I've got more at me workshop. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Let's just put that down there while I continue doing this. That's ripped off there. And down the side. If I can find the end. So I know I haven't got enough of. I'll have this one down the sides. Hold on a minute. Let us turn it round. Ooh, shall on my lap. Oh, there's a lovely image. Well, not for you lot, for me, definitely, but for you lot. Ooh. Right. 
there's that. And on the bottom, we're going to have... <clears throat> It'd be nice if I had my Wang Ebo one here, but I don't think I've got enough of the one upstairs, so three lumps to that, really. But we're going to have this one. So I've got to put this one upside down so at least it'd be facing the right way when I have the canvas up the other way. So we're going to have hearts. Oh dear. Now, if anybody hasn't noticed, on the bottom of Diamond Art Club paintings, there's a take 10 for 10% 10 off your next order. But, you know, there are lots of those around. If you look on the, um, on your packing slip that comes in your box, you will find that it usually has about 20% off or better deal. So um, double check that. There's those. Now the last edge, we're going to have it the same as the other edge. <sighs> right. mm -hmm. Let's get up. Mm. What a dream I had last night. Not one of food this time. But I went into the the bad person's territory while she was still slagging me off. Some weren't nice to me because they they knew that I wasn't like that. But there were some of her friends who were really and it's like come to me. So I brought her out. I told her out on some things. I said, well, yeah, excuse me, when she was there calling everybody that I was the bitch. I said, excuse me. And they went, oh. Mm -hmm. I said, and like the label, the sign that she had on the door. I said, very professional that is, isn't it? Well. Say la vie, eh? That was just a dream. Can't really see that, can I? So I won't have hearts. I need to get a darker one. Uh, ri, 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 ri. Have I got any up here? Oh, there's one. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. It's sad that they're going to stop doing these. Very um sad. And do this all the way along. Just run out. Wow. Just had that much left. Wow. Well, oh, that's that one dead. Now I need one to go down that way. All right, let's get the... What are you doing out there, Desmond? Hmm? What, my sweetheart? Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't bite me. Get down. Had your chance, blew it, fluffed it. Down, down, there's nothing here for you. Oink, oink. You still have a light attack. Now, why can't I get that one out? Okay, I have to get that one out. Oh, these little plastic trays I got thinking they might do well for, um, you know, having drills in these ones. But, um, 
Timu, and they're bloody cheap. And to be honest, no. Oh my God. If anything, I'd have to make my own. Oh, perhaps that's what I should have done. Made them out of that that cardboard I had. I could have made some like paper mache style drawers, which fitted these better. Oh dear. Right. So I think I'm going to empty out all the ones on the top shelf because they're the hardest ones to get hold of. Right. Mm. loads more of these oh i see desmond's decided to go there have you be nice to mummy okay no hi yeah 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 oh the little tart i thought she had something connected to her something you know nasty wouldn't let me get it. She attacked me, little bugger. Oh, I've got a mouth like a, a giraffe's undercarriage. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yes. Drink from the bottle. There's only me here that uses it, so. That's fine. Right, where are we? Well, I had a letter from the um, from the autism outreach people saying that they hadn't received my um, my form, and I went, "Oh God, please, please don't have this happen because you have." I sent it off, and I sent it off by tracked, tracked Royal Mail forty eight. So which is not assigned for, but it's tracked, and when it tracks it, it gives you all kinds of um things to you know for you to look up on. Like it gives you um longitude and latitude of where it was delivered to, where the address of where it was delivered to, um a picture of it, you know, um of where it's been delivered, you know, on the floor or on the side or wherever. And um and so you know where it's been fully and totally. So you know there's there shouldn't be any problems there. And um and I wrote her an email back saying Please don't say you've lost it because I never took a copy. And um because usually I do take a copy. And it was weird. The second I sent it, I thought I should have taken a copy just in case. But I didn't. And so um so it was um oh dear, wonky line. So um yeah, I said please check and I gave her all the details, the tracking code number, and I said just double check that it hasn't gone, perhaps fallen down the back or anything like that. And I said, well, because it tells me it's been delivered. It's got the address that it's been delivered. It's even got a photo. I sent all that. And um, she got back to me today and said, yes, we have found it. A colleague apparently had been holding on to it for her. Mm. I think it's just a bit of a, a thing, I think, to be honest. And they get, you know, chocker with people wanting help or whatever. They sort of, you know, it's a bit like the DSS do. They, um, oh, I must finish that one more next time. Um, 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 oh dear, yes, so, um, I, um, 
sorry, I'm sidetracking because I found one of my paintings, which is flashing the um the whatnot, but it's not getting the sticky bit. Oh god! So it's going to get dusty and lose its stick. And the cat is waiting to be fed yet again. You know, I fed her I don't know how many times now, so she can. Oh dear. Right. Here we go. Here we make a start. Where's my tray gone? Oh, duh. I've been using this. I forgot I got these. They're in a three pack for five pounds off of um, Amazon. And you see this has tips so you can get more. And this is a wax one. It's great for ABs, but you can get more of them. But at five pounds, that is a bit small, but it does do work. It still works. Especially if I put it wax in there, then it'll help with ABs. So this is my AB pen, as well as my tweezers. But my tweezers, I've got to get another pair. Because the nice pair of tweezers that I like to use, which weren't the Diamond Art Clubs, they were the... Um, oh, now all I've got are bloody Diamond Art Club ones here. They were some other ones I got from somewhere. Ah, like this. But the ones I had, I can't use these because they've got a bent at the top. And these are the ones, my favourite ones. I can't remember where I got them from. I think I might have got them from either Dreamers Designs or somewhere like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I need to get some more of those somehow. Because, yeah, oh dear, yeah, like those. <laughs> but yes. Right, so upside down now. Let's get this show on the road. God, it's warm again. I'm going to have to put my fan on, you know. I do apologise. I'm going to try and spin it around. And when it gets towards facing me, come back. There we go. Right, hopefully it's not getting the whatnot. Whoa! Oh dear. This arm won't stretch any further where it is. Unless I do that, but then you might feel a bit seasick. But well, we'll give it a whirl. If you feel seasick, let me know. Right, I need... Oh, Godzilla! Do you know what? Am I ever going to start this... This one. Do you think I'm going to start it ever? At all? Got to get a new cover sheet, didn't I? Oh dear. Mm. Oh, now that's gone. And I've got to sidetrack and do it because if I don't, it'll bug me. It'll just be on my mind. Here we go. Things don't go back in the drawers and you can't shut the drawers. Right, here we go. Let's have this one. These ones I printed out myself. I've got some of this paper, um, not printed on, but I've got them in A4 sheets. So if anybody's interested in them, where you can then um, print yourselves whatever you want on the back of them, then let me know. I can put them up on my eBay shop. some point right why am i doing this please someone tell me why am i doing this row in god i'll tell you what these are so small why is it that sometimes some of these some of these look massive and then others look really small hmm I hope you can see. Mind you, you're probably just listening to me waffling, aren't you? Yes. Ouch. Come on. I think this is one of the older canvases. I'm not sure when it came out. But 
tits. Don't know. Nazzling walls. Somebody else done this one. Or not. What do you think of it? It's nice and bright and cheerful, that's for sure. I'm going to have to wash that glass up at some point and get it filled up. And I've bought some apple, orange, no, not apple, orange, lemon and lime to cut up. And, um, but I haven't got a jug. Well, tell you that, I have got a jug that I could use. But that jug has become my um, sort of anything jug on top of the fridge where all kinds of things get posted in it. I'm sure everybody's got one. But I think I might have to take that down and wash it up I think I'll do it after I've done this one and we'll see wow well boned up the um the council today asking about my um about council tax benefit and apparently um, your universal credit is means tested but according to the council person I spoke to apparently not just your universal credit but your PIP is, is um, counted as means tested and I said no because somebody else had said no PIP is not counted as, as means tested either way she went and explained it all and says okay so if that's the case because i was just going on under the impression that it was just my wage that i'd got you know not my wage you know how much i'd earned because i said well you know i've earned that much but anything else that's come out i've had to take it out of that money so i've got nothing left near enough you know not much left and so um i said please can i have a form for the discretionary housing payment and hope i'm allowed it so she sent me out the form but i'm hoping that old star my boy has something to do with you know has things to change with this because it's just crazy and the problem is more people you know recently as well more people are being thrown credit cards are thrown at them now from companies you know and it's like and so people, because they're in a financial sticky situation, are grabbing them. I'm no different. I've been doing that. But then, of course, it comes to it that, you know, when they all want paying, that's when your money basically all goes. And so you're left with beggar all. So it's pretty frustrating surely this isn't enough L's I must have more than this because I tell you what I'm lost I'm going to just use this all up in this corner yeah so we will see thinking then perhaps I should just um, stop classing my work you know but then at the same point I'll still have to pay out because you know I'm still using the office it's like a storeroom so I'll still have to pay that So we just have to continue on, but I think I'm going to phone up the um, the HMRC the tax people and just say, look, you know, I'm earning less than a thousand pounds a year. Um, do I still have to submit a tax return? Because I know if you earn less that they you usually don't have to I mean it's no big shakes if I do because I never have to pay anything extra but 
Oh, that's a lie. I, I have been paying this year, last year, I mean, last tax year, I didn't um, pay any national insurance extra top up because they said, did I want to pay a contribution rate, of, um, you know, thing? And I said, no, usually I say yes, but I didn't have much money. So I said no, which I hope it, I'm hoping that it won't affect my um, pension when it does come down to it. Because I might say, well, you haven't paid towards it. And I'll go, oh, well, no, but I didn't have to pay anything. So I have to look into that and see what what gives. And alternatively, what I should be doing is less diamond painting and more actual work. You know, because a lot of it I can do at home. I can list at home. I can, you know, go into the me office, take photos. I need to sort out my office. Um, take photos and um, and yeah. I paid my son's BT bill. I know, I know, but it was three months worth. And the kids weren't having any fun of it because it was being run off dad's data on his phone because he has unlimited data. Go figure, he has unlimited data on a phone. How much of that costs a month? And yet, you know, 20 quid a month for BT, which means the kids can have kids TV and all that kind of lot. Doesn't happen. So it's like, mm. so I paid that for him on credit card. And then the youngster, the little boy, I took him some nappies and took the other two magazine. And um, and he's so close to walking, crawling type thing. And um, But he didn't have one of those baby walker things, which I think he, he could have had done with. They did have one, but they put it in the shed and then, then it got mouldy in it. They had to bin it, which is a shame. It's from the other two. But... Um, so I ordered him one using my Amazon vouchers that I had. So, yeah. So in return, I said, please, can you come and hang this picture up on my wall for me and um, put up some IKEA furniture? He said, yeah, but I don't know when. It's the standard reply. So, you know. Got to stop thinking about it. It's for the kids. I did it for the kids, not for him that. Hey ho. Right, where am I going to do now? I'm going to do that triangle. Triangle. She says as she's trying to sound Liverpoolian like Paul McCartney. But doesn't. Right, there's not much in this one either. Let's have a slurp of my tea. Yes, I had two, two of my meals a bit close together. Because I woke up, well, I didn't wake up late. I got up late. So I had my breakfast at about 11 with its, with the fibre drink. And then I had, in about two, I went for my, I thought I'd have um, my, um, oh God, what's it called? Soup. And that leaves me hungry still after. So then I thought, well, I'll have... So about an hour and a half later, I had my um, other shake. So it was a bit close. Uh, I've just got one more shake left, which is for later on. And tomorrow morning, I've got to do my bloods. So I've got to get on the scales. I've got to do my blood pressure. I've got to um um i think i have a, an appointment again phone call with them the, the you know ujima flip the coach well we shall see Has that got a bit of static? I think it has. 
Yes, yeah, so um, we will see. Now she did say for five days take that fibre drink, so I'm hoping I don't have to take it on anymore. Or was it her that said it, or was it something I read? Might be something I read on there. Do dark page. I mean, I don't know. They keep telling you to log your bowels. Oh, horrible, horrible. I'm sorry I'm going on about it, but, you know, when you're having practically next to nothing, you know, what is there left? But anyway, that's neither here nor there onwards. Let us go now. Let us see what else there is. So, um, yeah, we didn't have craft group last week because of the um, polling. And so, but we have this week, so this week's going to be good. We're going to be all catching up of everything. But I don't know how I'm going to cope with so many people and little food. <laughs> I'll take my, um, I'll take one of my drinks with me for the four o'clock feeding. God, it's like being bottle fed. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, and I went to my, my son's yesterday and saw the grandkids. Oh, it was lovely. And um, <laughs> their faces, they were, it was so funny. But um, then my son says, oh, can you um, look after them when I go? I says, yeah, but um, I, I was thinking of going soon because I'm absolutely starving now. Because I had my dinner, my bre breakfast before the, before I went there, which was around about, I went there around about 11, 11, 11 30. So I had my breakfast around about 11. No, I took it with me. So it must have been about 11. So I had it when I was there because I not long had my, um, my um, fibre drink. And then... Um, and so I had that then, and then of course this was about what four, half three, and they were, and I would be getting ready realistically to have had my other meal by then, and they went out for about an hour and a half, and I was there saying, "Are you coming back soon?" And then my phone died. I said, "Because I'm absolutely starving, and I've got to go and get my other meal." And um, yeah, they did come back soon, and then I legged it. I started feeling a bit faint, a bit lightheaded. But well, I even I I got some like sugar-free chewing gum in my my pocket for like if I get really whatevered, you know. And so I I had one of those. I don't know whether it's allowable or not, but you know it's sugar-free, and um, and well. Gave me a little bit of something to um to think about on my journey home. Yeah, this is a lovely painting. I really like it. Oh, that reminds me, I've got library books to go back. Don't know where I got that from, from whatever, but you know me. Um, yeah, so um. Yeah, hopefully it won't take me too long to do. Which will be nice. Seems a lot of, quite a lot of big bits of colour blocking. And I do have a ten placer. God, I can keep it in my stomach growling. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I think I'm going to have a nice shower tonight. Ready to step on the scales tomorrow. And hopefully I would have washed a lot of 
dirt. <laughs> Not dirty at all. But, you know, it's kind of like how you think, isn't it? It's like you think, oh, it's going to be weighed today, so you want to have everything, all your clothes stripped off. Whereas in the doctor's surgery, you can't do that. <laughs> I think they might take offence. Take offence, a gate, I don't know, a wall. But, um, yeah. And I used to go to um, Rosemary Connolly and Slimming World. I used to take off all my bangles. I used to wear the same stuff each week. So it was very light. It was like a pair of leggings and a and a t-shirt with a jumper so when I get there I take off the jumper and just so it would be you know I feel as if I'd lost something if it was just weight of clothes and I'd have my shoes off sometimes I'd have my socks off <laughs> yes so um yeah I did hate it in the end. Slim well, they just seem to focus on, you know, losing the weight, but not, not the bit in between, you know, like the psychological bit. You know, if you lost that weight, woo, woo, woo. And they didn't realise that men seem to have this propensity to lose weight faster. It'd come off them faster. And, you know, And whatever people, you know, you saw lots of people, you know, going back over and over again. Like this was their third time doing it. And it was like, because they'd basically stopped doing it and um, and had put back on. And some of them put back on more than they had taken off. So it's like, you know, hmm. So I used to hate that. A stay for group listen to the chat of this this and this and it's like well that's <sighs> didn't make you feel any better so you know and then you'd have the obligatory um, raffle ticket prize for something that was in the raffle and then everybody would have to bring a piece of fruit or something or veggies or something like that and then that would go in a hamper and then whoever got slim of the week could have that hamper they won that hamper yeah it's like oh dear it's just and you paid for the privilege of it it's like, great. Now, I'm already struggling being here. I think it would have done better if it had also focused on the mental side of it, you know, your mind and how that was dealing. Because no wonder the weight would just go back on and these things kind of like, you know, you knew it was going to happen because a lot of us were comfort eating or whatever like that and it was just you know you knew until your soul got healed a bit that you know you'd probably keep on putting on the weight but well Rosemary Connolly was was funny there when I used to do that because you used to go and do the bit of the talking or whatever and then you'd I think did you start off I can't remember whether we started off or we ended on some exercises for about half an hour and st sort of like things like that and 
it was so funny because we had to do like it was like lime bloody dancing type of thing at the end and um and i, could, I always got my turns wrong and everybody knew it everybody was laughing at me and then it all say you know and i even had the, had the lady who was running it saying you know that job the other way <laughs> and it was like okay yeah that was when i could do stuff like that yeah but it was oh god such a giggle really so i kept getting my lefts and my rights muddled up and i even went one time with with left and right written on my hands you know l and r and um and i still managed to muck it up god knows how i think it was a split second of looking down to see which way it was and in that moment that turn had already gone and we we're on to the next one you know just like how sat navs are when you make a wrong turning you drive on once you made one wrong turning on a sat nav for me it was that was it it was done for there was no point because it would try and rejig a route but by the time it rejigged it you'd pass the turning it wanted you to go down and so i would just drive on aimlessly until i sort of found a, another road a bigger road which said whatever so half the time i'd end up taking detours and then there was that time when I went to where? I think I was picking Nick up, picking my son up from a from a scouting sort of event. And it was right the way over near Bradford. And, oh my God, I hated bloody Bradford with a vengeance. And I, um, and it was horrible. It was a Friday. And by the time I got towards there, it was, um, or I was trying to come out. I've just come back through and I was coming. And for some strange reason, I made the wrong turning and I ended up going through Bradford. And it was Friday and it was rush hour. And I didn't have much petrol. And I was like, oh my God. And I was getting panicky. I had panic attack after panic attack as I was stuck on this bridge. And I couldn't see because it was dark. Um, and I was very aware that the, you know, that the whatnot was going to go. You know, the petrol was going to be run down. And then I was like freaking out about that. And I just said to Nick, I said, the next um, garage we see, I'm just calling in. I'm just taking a road and I'm just going with it. Because at one point when we were stopped and waiting, because the queues, the traffic, you know, was terrible. I, um, I was ready to leave the car. I said, Nick, I think we're just going to have to leave the car here. I'm going to have to go. I'm just going to have to get out and leave it because I can't, I can't cope. I can't deal with it. And he talked me around a bit, pointed out there was a garage. So I went over the garage, managed to get there. I nearly caused a crash in doing so, mind, but I got there relatively safely. A few honks of the horn later. And, um, and then the person proceeded to tell me which way I needed to go. And I couldn't hear him. I couldn't understand. It just, you know... I, by that point, I was on sensory overload, too much gone in, and I was just on, in my head, I was like swinging on a swing, going la 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 And I just couldn't take it in. Yes, it was um, rather... <laughs> we made it home. Oh, was that the time I went to the rent shop? Not the rent, rent room. Rent is a thing of fabric. No, I think it was the time we went to the rent room, a fabric place up in Skipton. Yes, I think that was it. And I went outskirts of Leeds. Going there was a lot simpler. When I was coming back, that was the one, that was the one. When I was coming back, I made the wrong turning and I ended up going through flipping um, Bradford and more of Leeds when I got there. And we'd set off, I think, to leave round about 4.30. I got stuck all round there, that's right. And then um, 
and by the time we got home it was 7 30. <laughs> it was like oh i'm knackered and yes it was i don't like driving around big towns big cities stress oh, look at that. stresses me out no end Yes, it was the rent room, which is a fabulous um, uh, sewing, um, you know, fabric place. It had a little corner, like a massive like warehouse type thing. And they had like rolls and rolls of all kinds of um, fabrics. You know, not, this was mainly like, you know, upholstery fabrics, um, cushion type fabric, canvassy fabric, polyester clothing fabric, all that kind of stuff, all on big rolls. And um, and you went round and blimey. And then there was enough. Then there was a lot of cheap sections where you could go in and you can pick up really stupid price. It was great. And then they had another sort of corner of it, which would be sort of revamped out to sort of like just quilting fabric. And oh my god, that was just beautiful. Well, the prices were a little bit steep in there, but then you know it was quilting fabric. But yeah, it was um, it was quite great place parking was terrible but yeah oh and there's a place in um in bradford on the outskirts of bradford i think it was that was called bits and bats and they did loads of stuff you had a minimum order of like 50 quid but i tell you what you went in there and you could definitely come away with more than 50 quid's worth and it was like a haberdasheries night not nightmare haberdasheries um well it is if you didn't have much money to spend but it was a haberdasheries um absolute you know tardis every which way you know you name it things were stuffed in and not only that there was weird things stuffed in like they had packs of playing cards and things like that it was really weird but it had all kinds of things lots and lots of buttons loads of buttons ribbons bias binding tapes elastic um threads of all kinds it was amazing actually they're online as well bits and bats I think it's dot com i'm not sure i haven't had a look in that in ages because now i've sort of i no longer have my fabric shop yeah love that click snap Yeah, it's I keep meaning to go and do a little bit more sewing. It's not as if I haven't got the flipping fabric. I used to do lots of little um I used to call them my anything purses because they were little coin purses but you could fit almost anything in them, you know, small things, you know. They were handy to go out on the town of a night time because you could fit your bank card in them and, you know, possibly at a squeeze if you were a smoker you could fit a pack of ciggies in there. Um, you had some change could fit in there. Alternatively, for girlies we could put our monthly um, things in there so people didn't notice, they all fitted in. Um, yeah for little kiddies you could put little bags of sweets in them i did quite a lot of those i really thoroughly enjoyed doing that but then of course when i had my um my etsy shop the brown card company it was um they became my freebies because everybody you know all you know i would always send out my stuff with freebies and you know, at one point they were my freebies because I just had loads of them and just, you know, nowhere to do them. So I just, because a lot of the the buyers were buying um, like my bunny pins because obviously I love my boys and it was like the untamed pins, the bunnies. And, um, and so I put them in, in there. So it was like a little package you unwrapped, you know, you unzipped it and there was your prize, but you also got a um a purse a little coin purse with it usually i would do the 
stickers. Maybe a, you know, mainly boys love type stickers. And um, and stuff, or stickers on the untamed, usually. And yeah, so that's quite good. So I enjoyed doing that. And then, of course, when I got into my um, making little booklets, little notebooks, those very little ones, um, I would send those instead. So, so they always got something extra. It was always, you know, it always came to more than what they'd actually paid. But I had them, you know, and they were just sitting there. So I thought, well, I might as well give them out to people. And sometimes I put a penny inside the purses and, and a little card thing saying, find a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. The clean version, that is. I didn't put the dirty version in, which was, find a penny, pick it up all, day, all night long, you'll have good... Yes. So, um, yeah, let's get the cleaner version. Uh, yeah. Golly, this J is going on, going on forever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> I read that as 80, but it wasn't. It was back to front. Two minutes. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. I do like a painting. I, I, oh God, just had recently too much confetti star. I mean, that rainbow cove, as much as I love it, it is pretty confetti filled. I'm just, you know, I think anybody needs a little bit of a break from it at times. Even if you're a lover of confetti, which I usually am quite a lover of confetti, but e bye. Sometimes you can have a little bit too much confetti. Oh. I shouldn't really be doing this. I should really be um, finishing the ones off that I've got to do. Oh, bugger. Because that one can go up there and move along but um you know you have to have a bit of a break from some of the other ones and they will get done and they will suddenly get all done at once yeah like i want to do also um what do i want to do i want to um Oh, I kitted up, I know I didn't film it, I'm sorry, but I kitted up, um, yes, my tiles, my knockoff tiles ones from um, AliExpress, you know, like the, um, the um, what's it called, Paint Gem Minis. And I did, I did, um, I did a, one of each. I did one of the Christmas ones and one of the, um, of the um, tiles one. They're both all right. There's just a few, I would suggest that they need to lighten their colors a little bit more for some of them on the, um, you know, on the label type thing. But mind you, the label that I did was, um, they had a card, like a postcard, and it was um, like a, more like a photo card type thing. And they had, um, you know, the legend on that and so I used that to run that through my sticker maker and of course because it was thick card it kept 
twanging up at the edges so one lot I had to tape all the way down and um and then it was like you know say that's the J for some of them they were so dark that you couldn't see and they'd used a dark letter so or you know a dark symbol so you couldn't see it so that was the only sort of thing but I mean you know for the price it wasn't too bad considering it was sort of like a third of the price of you know paint gems and to be fair paint gems I find are a little bit um similar to that anyway I have to say I think I prefer the um AliExpress knockoffs than the paint gems because the paint gems some of the canvases are can't you know sometimes a bit tricky to read on some of them they get some right but then they get to my mind a lot wrong and I just sort of think nah for me too expensive I mean I've got I got some and I've got ones I wanted and I've done some and I've still got loads and I turn them into cards so it's not as if they have you know they haven't gone and had another use from them because I've sold some of those cards actually I need to put those up onto um, eBay that's another job yeah I think I definitely need to make that glass of juice I think I'll do that tomorrow that jug of juice because then it can um spend its time in the um fridge and I can drink it during the day I don't know whether to add it fizzy but because then it's going to be unfizzy-ish by the time I've sort of finished it Hey-ho, we will see. Are we coming up to the end of this? What numbers? Oh, we have. I've got, I should have done them first. I should have done the numbers first. Because then that is the... Um, I mean, like all those twos. That's ABs. I don't really want to do that, that um, thing. I want to use my tweezers. I might have to. My tweezers work well. Have I done them? J, 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 J. Yes, I have. Oh, no, I haven't. Bedank. Now I think I have. Right, let's just see. Two. Did I do G? No. No, is that a G? No, that was... Right. Let's see if these were dirt. Because at one point they went a bit bent and I couldn't pick them up. Mind you, that might have been the old ones. I think that's the other ones. Get overly clever, Karen. Just do them one at a time. Oh, okay, okay. Don't force it. If it won't, doesn't want to come, don't do it. Get down. Right, let's go over here and do these. Is that one with the dot? That sort of square black dot. Oh, it's five two hundred, so that isn't an AB. Oops. Oh, 
I know I'm going all over the place, aren't I? Boom, boom. Why not? They have to all be done. Oops. God, my stomach's gurgling again. Hungry. Now, when I'm going to last, can I last the full, the full three months? Without, oh God, takeaway, fish and chips. Oh my God, I want them. Probably have to order a light bite, a small one, small fish and chips instead of a regular one like I have been doing. Well, so three months is August, September, October. Oh my God. July, August, September. No, the end of September, the beginning of October, I should have finished it. Oh, three months version. Oh, God. I wonder if they've replied to me yet, the um, Aviva lot. <laughs> oh, there is a reply. Nope. No, they said they reply two days after. I asked them on Thursday the 4th. Saturday is when they should have done replied and nobody replied. She ain't going to reply till tomorrow. That's, I'm going to have words with her then. If she does reply tomorrow, I don't know how tomorrow's going to be because that's my weekly check-in. Is she going to phone me or have I got to just do it again and just be left where they say we're supposed to be um, supported and it's baloney. Especially right at the very beginning when you would have thought people, you know, might be needing more help than normal, you know. Not good. So when it comes to um, a survey telling them how it is, I will tell them exactly how it is. It's crap. I feel like as if I've been started on this thing and now I'm just left. 
I keep getting the bloody app hassling me to log everything down. Log my mood. Well, my mood's shitty because of them. They don't ask you why. No. Log your logs. And they give you six or seven variations of log you can bloody well log. But they don't give you a bloody um, one which says no logs. Or a little section where you can just write a reply in. You know, if it's anything differently, like other or whatever, where you can record whatever else. That's for anything applying. Oh, no. I want you to send photos, like your freaking Instagram bloody um, whatever. I'm sorry, but I don't take pictures of my food usually. Let alone for multi, you know, for social media. So I'm not going to bloody well do it for um, for an app that just doesn't speak to you. There's no person there. I'm getting quite grouchy, grouchy with it. Because I'm just feeling like we're just left. It's not a grouchy for, for you know, like a like a hung a hangry whatever it's just a pissed off because they just aren't keeping to their end of the bargain Good mind to limo or go onto that um, diabetes forum where they have the people there, you know, other people like us, because that's how they're doing it. Is basically we're just supporting ourselves. They say we have a coach. Boop. Bleep. We don't have a blimmin' coach. Anyway, if somebody phones me up tomorrow saying, oh, how's it going? I say, oh, stuff off. I'm going to be like that. I'm going to be tetchy. Because I'm going without food. Yes, it is kind of like for my benefit, but it's not really, not this way. This way is for them. So they can click on their statistics and say, yes, we have helped X amount of people to lose weight. Well, I'm sorry, but you haven't. You've just given us stuff and told us to get on with it. And for a total replacement diet, where they say we will spo we're supposed to have, you know, support for the first month if, whenever we needed it, you know, and we'll be um, spoken to once a week for a check-in. It's like, whatever. It ain't happening because we can't get support when we, when we need it. We apparently have to wait two days and say, oh yes, good news, you can you can look at support through our chat and we'll get back to you in two days. Well, two days my ass. Which two days are these? From the planet Uranus? <sighs> Grr. Yeah. One day equals 346 leap years. Maybe I am a bit hangry. I'm just peed off with them saying they're helping us and they just leave us to it. Oh, and breathe. This is going to take me forever doing these twos. There's a gazillion of them. Look at them all, all down there and there. Holy Krakatoa. Oh, no, maybe not. Etna. Oh, my word. All these volcanoes. Strombra... Str or oh, whatever it is. Strombali. Um, Fliagre. Uh, Etna. 
Iceland. Something's definitely going on. Is that because we've, we've apparently just had a complete and utter pole reversal or something? There was something happening in our whatever. And is it due to that? Will Yellowstone Park sort of jump in on the old, or the San Andreas Fault, the Ring of Fire, are they all going to sort of jump in on the um, bandwagon? Yeah. Is this perhaps what um, Nostradamus mentioned when he said a, you know, like a sea of red or whatever and people are thinking it's communism but is it just a sea of red as in volcanoes? Finish this up and then I'm going to go and uh, what time is it? Oh, nine o'clock. Holy cow. Where's that Desdy? Desdy? Oh, she's up there. She's sleeping on the side. What is she doing there? You want to go outside for a bit? Mm hmm. Don't you bite me. Loves his mummy. Hi, baby. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, you got a scatty. Ooh. Oh. That's safer, isn't it? Stroke you with a stick, a skewer, bamboo skewer. Well, it's the first thing that gets attacked is the skewer, not my fingies. No. Oh. Poop, poop, girl. I'm going to go outside for a bit. Can't sleep up there. Night, anyway. That isn't getting these twos done, is it? It's sidetracking. Obviously, I'm very good at that, we all know. Show a few more out there. Oh my god. Hmm. Very weird. This sort of this pink bit. I don't know what part of it is. I don't want that. Desi can part of Desi can go away. Oh my word! I had there was I had a, a visitor, shall we say, from the other side earlier on. That's all I can say. Oh my God, because suddenly, right where I was, it smelt like a ganja farm. That's all I can say. A skunk ganja farm. It was strong. And I don't smoke. Many, many moons ago, I used to. Hated skunk though. I did have a try of that, but that was just too pokey too horrible didn't like that didn't like grass weed i preferred the um nepalese red or whatever it was called <laughs> that wasn't a um no didn't do much of it at all Luckily, I didn't have addictions to to them, so that was that's probably helped a lot, big time. But yeah, this smell of this ganja, and I thought, bloody hell! And then I thought of my ex, so I think it might have been him, because he used to be forever going to parties. And back in the day, he did like a bit of um a bit of his smoke.
So I wondered if it was him. But that smell, oh my God. So strong. And then as quickly as it came, it went. I did chat to him for a little bit. Told him he should have hunted me out before he did what he did. Because always in the past, at one point when we were together, you know, we'll be forever breaking up. And as we were breaking up, I'd be forever telling him what he was doing and why he was doing it. And um, he'd always come back, you know, a week or so later with his tail between his legs. moved on because I had to and he was then with somebody else for like 16 years I had a child I don't know how happy I know he was very upset and happy unhappy with himself and his life because it was there when I was with him and he kind of didn't understand because it was like all these things were happening and he didn't really realize and I used to get the brunt of it. And then I would start seeing the therapist and I was always already pretty good at sort of sussing out things. But yeah. So he spent a lot of time in denial when he was with me that he was actually part of the problem. <laughs> And stuff. So I think he wanted to come back and say sorry. I'm pretty certain that was what it was. Next time, come back sober, mate. No weed, please. Well. We're nearly, nearly there with these twos and then I'll stop the filming because it's been over an hour and just on practically on one colour it's just a little bit too much, isn't it? Shame I couldn't multi-place these but I don't want to lose some of the shine. Mind you, they are wolves. Wolves aren't, don't usually have shine like this. And also, um, they're not these colours, are they? These wolves are very um, rainbow, aren't they? Gay wolves. Prideful wolves. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. A pride of wolves, is it? A pride of wolves? A lion pride, that was what it is. Yeah, so um, it should be lions, really. It's crazy when you look back at life and I sometimes I think, oh my God, I haven't done anything with my life, anything at all. But actually, I've done...